It all starts with the sun, and we know that sunlight, or white light, is actually a mix of all the colors of the rainbow. Now this light from the sun enters our atmosphere and is scattered about. You know, air is filled with nitrogen, oxygen, argon, water vapor, and also particles like smoke, ash, smog, and of course pollution. And the rainbow of colors that make up our light, blue and purple, are scattered the easiest. The scientific reason? They have the shortest wavelength. The other colors are able to make it past all those bumps in the atmosphere. The bumps being the nitrogen, the oxygen, the water vapor, etc. Now let's think about noon or midday, the sun high in the sky, and light doesn't have that far to travel to make it to our eyes. So not all of the blue light is scattered, and that's why the sky is blue. But at sunset, the light has to travel 10 times more atmosphere to make it to our eyes. So more often, we see the yellow, the orange, and the red colors. They're the ones that make it to our eyes. Now let's move to the autumn equinox, day and night equal. Then after that, each day gets shorter as the sun's rays approach the northern hemisphere at a more extreme angle. The southern hemisphere is starting to get the more direct sun. But a more extreme angle in the northern hemisphere means that now light from the sun has to travel even farther at sunset to make it to our eyes. And during that trip, there's a better chance that more blue light is getting scattered out and a better chance that we'll see a yellow, orange, or red sunset. Now, why is it so vivid? The colors of fall and winter sunsets are beautiful, they're brilliant. Well, during the fall and winter, the weather patterns allow for dry and clean Canadian air to sweep across the country. And this means, with this clean air, even more of the colors of the spectrum make it through without getting scattered by those particles or the bumps in the air. You know, you see this a lot after a storm moves through, the next sunset is often breathtaking.